People are supposed to be paying me money for this. They're not paying me, but God is paying me. I'm not complaining. You see her, for instance, before she came, eh? She was what? What were you? You see what I'm talking about now? She, she's ashamed. You can't tell her story. I told about my faith marriage, Abby. I told about how I was sacked in the bank. I told about how people rejected me. Am I ashamed of it? Why do you think people patronize me? Because I share it everywhere. It has emotional connection. Do you understand? Before she came here, she was a housemaid, but she doesn't want to say it. She still has me. Let her customer know this is what I was before. This is who I am today. Do you know a lot of people picture the housemaid that she was doing? She met somebody who picked interest in her and paid for her to come and learn handwork. If she didn't take up that housemaid job, would she be here today? Which means every bad thing that happened to you, there's a good thing inside, there's a blessing for you. Now, now, since the day I got that information, eh, I got that revelation, sometimes I wish for bad things to happen to me. You see, everybody say, God forbid. When I was going to do this alone, somebody actually told me over her dead body that God forbid, how, you, how can you go and be doing salon? Why did your parents send you to school? Eh? Okay, if the person sees me today, I've not finished, stand up. If the person sees me today, can the person still say, God forbid? Yeah. Honestly, what would, what would the person, if you were the person that told me that over a dead body, and you see me now? <laughs> but okay, okay. But, but, but what if I listen to the person? Hello? Her story has changed. She's no more a housemaid. But now, who, what is she now? Yesterday she was what? Today she's what? Now, as a stylist, she has a skill. The skill is better than what? Has made Abby? Yes. Now, she has a skill, but she needs a platform where she can use it and make money. A kind of platform that will not just making money eh, from her skills alone, she can get other money from, she can get tips, she can get some accolades, you know, she can get some, some other influence, you know, things can happen to her. That's the second, the second one. Then the third one, which is a very difficult one, you know, is the one that she would do for herself. Is her belief system. She understand? Her convictions. You can see now, it took me time to ask her, what were you doing before? She's still holding on to that mindset. Am I the one that's going to change that for her? Eh? Do you know that some people, something happened to you 10 years ago, you still feel the pains if they ask you today? True of us. If you are like that, eh, you are not dead with your past. Too. If you enter marriage or you enter business with it, that thing, eh, it can destroy everything that you have built. Do you know that? Some people find it very difficult to even forgive themselves. You know? If you still remember your past and it pains you, you are, you are in trouble. Do you understand? Maybe somebody broke your heart five years ago. The moment they just mentioned the person's name, your heart will just keep pam. You have not heard. A lot of you, I have changed your story by the grace of God. You know, I have provided a platform for you so that you can maximize your potentials. But the major challenge a lot of you are still having here it has to do with your convictions. You know, you have not, you, you're still carrying those old baggages. You want to come and operate it here. You know, that's why we fight. Eh? But there's a way I correct that one. That's why I put IOU. And Izu had to boldly write IOU on his dress to so know that, uh, you know. Yes. So, sit down. You can sit down now. You see, for everybody here, you know, now people don't have fears about, you know, is my skills. I don't have skills, you know. Um, people will laugh at me. How many people here are proud about what they are doing? Are you proud about what you are doing? Yes. Are you proud about, I, if they call you a stylist now, eh? will you feel bad? The reason why you don't feel bad because he's giving you money. And at the same time, he's making you, he's giving you fame. 
is making you, you should understand. You, it's not something that those days they say a baba. They tell you, say a baba. Can you even come and tell somebody you are a baba? Or say you are a hairstylist. What was the impression people think about hairstylists before? They are dropouts. They are they are hooligans. They are just <laughs> name all the name. They even call them prostitute. I was interviewing that they say somebody to go and do hair is a prostitute. It's a prostitute's job. Can somebody look at me now and say Bruno is a prostitute because he's doing hair styling? Eh? Let's be honest. Can somebody look at me and say, oh, Baba, okay, is this the. We don't come in from head to toe. Say, this guy is, is a dropout, he's a useless person. Can somebody tell me that? Eh? But we have changed the narrative. We've changed it. You've changed. I, I did something when my kids went, you know. I made these different designs. I still make different designs. I send it to them, you know. Make them see somebody go and send it to them. When I went, I took a lot of them to them. The ones can zip down, wear it on top of the uniform. Then the ones you wear, the uniform can come out from here. So different design, can wear hood and all that. I made different designs for him. Now, sometimes the, at the initial stage, the mother will be telling me, don't wear this thing. Now, I still start fight. Do you know why it's a fight? Because they see him differently. Everybody is asking, what is this? I tell them, my dad, he'll go and punch them, check my dad on internet. And you cannot even see this shirt to buy. Can you see it to buy there? So he's the only one wearing it. Do you understand? So he goes to school and he's proud to wear it. Do you understand what I'm saying? But those days, can you tell people that your father is a baba? <laughs> can, you, can you tell your father, you say your father is a baba, your father is a hairstylist, can you? But exercise is in America, but he's proud to tell people my dad is a baba. Because I have changed what? I've changed the story. You see Victoria now, she's looking, she's shiny. But you were a cleaner before now. Were you not a cleaner before? Can somebody look at you now from here to say a bloody cleaner? The only challenge that I have is your convictions. You know, people still have this, there's some belief system they still bring into this place. You know? And that's something that I'm, I'm trying to.